What's up, everybody? It's your boy One Gun here, and uh, I'm in the hospital um, again. A couple of days ago, I, uh, I fell, and uh, and I fell because I, I couldn't get up because my blood pressure was so low. Um, I uh, I almost passed out and died. You know, I almost died. You know, this is the uh, second time my uh, my uh, infection has tried to kill me. You know, uh, this infection was is pretty was pretty aggressive. It uh, got in my foot really fast before I knew it, and uh, started spreading like wildfire. And uh, it did some things to my body. So I will be getting my leg amputated um, because I'm uh, I'm really sick. You know, and and uh, I almost died. And I don't know where life is going to take me after this, folks. I'm going through some real judgment calls and decision making and stuff like that on my life and on my health. Hopefully I'll make it through this. The only thing I think about is ways to what I'm going to do when I return. Because I won't be back for a while, folks. It's going to be a while, you know. Um, because uh, what, you, what you look at is it. What you're looking at is a dying man, and to be honest with y'all, you know, I am a, uh, I am a dying man. Um, the doctor told me, you know, when he saw me, when he came in that morning, and he said, this is like the sickest I ever been. And uh, he said, you're so lucky that you made it here because you, they said, they said I had like minutes, minutes before I was gonna, I gotta finish what I started, you know. And I got to ignore the haters, you know. It's the haters that, 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 that want you to be in this situation. They want you to suffer and they want you to die. I had to make a decision to live. <laughs> you know, it's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard when I have to deal with this. And I got a, a fucking moron after me every day of my life lying about me he treat me track my father's arrest records down and put him up for everybody to see he he tried to he stalked my sister you know he uh he stalked me he told everybody where i lived i mean he, he did a lot of nasty stuff and he's gonna keep on doing nasty stuff even while i'm sick in the hospital he's still doing it i thought a lot about the people who love me and that love made me strong enough to get up, try to get up, you know, after I, I couldn't get up and get my phone and call for help, you know, because I said I want to sit. At first, I was like, I want to sit here and just die. And then I said, you know, what about the people? I'm like, what people? The people who care for you, the people who want to see you. And I said, I said, you know what? I can't let those people down. I can't. It's you guys, my family, and my friends that have done so much to make me want to live. My power doesn't come from him. My power comes from you guys and my family. And my dad and my mom I love so much. Well, my surgery to remove my leg is going to be on Tuesday because my leg is going to kill me. Now, if I keep, I can keep my leg on, right? But it's it's eventually going to kill me because it almost killed me this time. It's going to try to kill me again. You know, somebody's out there spreading lies and rumors about me, and it's not true. You got a hate monger who wants to sit back and lie about me. So I can't finish my films, but I'm going to finish them. I know the doctors told me, the doctors told me I don't have too much time. That's all I got to say, people. Because I'm tired. I really am. No man on this planet should have to put up with a clown waking up every morning and saying what he's saying. No, 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 I, I shouldn't have to put up with it. And I'm not going to put up with it no more.
told you. I told you. Talking about me is bad for your health, but do they listen? No. Of course not. All right. So, words to die by. That's the new swan song I'm creating here. The swan song. All right, so folks, we'll come back and we will show you the mighty one gun as he sings his final performance. I guess. He wants us to believe he's dying. <laughs> what a joke. And if he does die, it's not my fault. I'm not the one sitting up there snorting street drugs. He probably uh, snorted some fentanyl and fell down. That's probably what happened. Now he's, he's all up in the hospital trying to blame somebody. Look, I am not the cause of your sickness, Alvin. You're sick because you're sick. You're sick in the head, bro. You got an infection in your brain. Did Joe make you do those street drugs? No, Alvin. Joe did not make you snort the freaking fentanyl that put you in the hospital. See, folks? He's lying. Oh, yeah, well, he is in the hospital because they got to chop his leg off. But for him to go on a live stream and say, it's all Joe's fault, wah, 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 that goes to show you he is delirious. Off his drugs. This is what Peter taught Alvin Snurling. How to whine, how to cry, how to lie, how to cheat, how to steal, and how to blame others for things that happen to themselves. And then comes crying to me saying how it's all my fault. Okay. Okay, Alvin. It's all my fault. <laughs> Alvin, grow up, kid. Or you will. You will be in a world of hurt. Poor Alvin. Good night, Alvin. You see, I'm not buying all this crap about Alvin. No, 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 no. I'm not buying this crap from Alvin that he's sick. And apparently he almost died. Oh, like he comes on here and he puts on the pity act. Um, this is nothing but a schmuck looking for pity points. It says, oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. They got to cut my leg off. Blah, blah. But um, I'm not going to talk about this Joe guy. But I'm going to talk about this Joe guy. Yes, this gets lots of ratings. Wow, 123 views. All I had to do was put on a mask. Oh, my God, and pretend I'm in a hospital bed. Just a minute, please. Just a minute, please. Uh, my leg amputated. Oops. That's a punchline right there. My leg amputated. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen. I almost passed out and died. You know, I almost died. You know? Oh, my God. Give this guy a Grammy. This is the performance of a century, this is folks. The, uh, second time my... Uh, <laughs> My uh, infection has tried to kill me, you know. <laughs> Elvin Snurling brought this all on himself. He has fake friends who hide behind fake names and abuse the shit out of him. Yeah, I'm talking about Todd Fox and Don Thack and Jet Strange and Ben Tuttle and all those other people who... Oh, <laughs> Benny D is one of the latest abusers. Hey everybody, it's your boy One Gun here, and I just want to show you guys. Uh, uh, they uh, they amputated my leg yesterday, so here's my leg. What's left of my leg? Yeah, woke up with my, my one. I don't know what that beeping noise is. It was, 
irritating as hell. I got only one hater out there, and all he can do is just hate. You know, that, that's all he got for me. Is, hey, he, he doesn't have no, no, uh, he doesn't have no argument or nothing. He just got hate, you know. And you can see that every day when he opens up his mouth and cut on his computer, opens up his mouth, all he has is hate and contempt for me. This is evil, people. This is pure evil. Alvin Snurling is a scapegoat of evil. Evil used him. And evil has survived. Alvin Snurling hasn't survived. Alvin Snurling's soul wasn't saved. No, evil has survived. He's over there waving his foot around going, Look, Joe, my leg got cut off. See? See, Joe? This is my foot. That's evil, people. He tried to use his own missing leg as a weapon. That's how stupid he is. Do you think I'm afraid of a missing leg? What am I supposed to say? So, I'm going to say, so what? So what? Your leg is gone. Wow, big deal. Evil has survived, people. Evil. Alvin Snurling is evil. Look what he does to people, folks. And you know why he does it? It's because real illusion is evil. And one gun made a living out of trying to get rid of people off YouTube. And now he's sitting around like a bum with a missing leg and he's trying to blame that on me too. One gun is the pirates. He's freaking Captain Hook, man. He walks around like a pirate now. It's going to take him two weeks to a month to learn how to walk again. So when you go swimming, one gun, I hope they call you Bob because that's all you can do is bob around in the water. And your new girlfriend's name is Eileen. Do you get it? Eileen? Eileen? <laughs> There's one gun's girlfriend. You know, going to IHOP Pancake House takes on a whole new meaning. Here's one gun going to the IHOP <laughs> for some pancakes. <laughs> you see, folks, evil has survived. And now it walks with a limp. I'm scared. I'm scared to be Joseph Earl McPeak. If I'm Joseph Earl McPeak, they're going to come after me, just like one gun wants them to. So for the time being, I'm going to be Sam Smith, and then I'm going to check with the judge and say, hey, judge, is it fair that I don't even get to be myself? But evil is alive. Evil is alive in Alvin. The evil didn't die in Alvin. <sighs> That's just too flabby and flat, ain't it? It's just too flabby and fat. Like somebody I know. Their lips. I, I'm talking about their lips. Their top lip must weigh 150 pounds, and their bottom lip must weigh 250 pounds. The rest is just blubber. Hello everybody, Evebat Studios coming at you tonight, and I don't know what to I don't know what to say about this really. I, I need some support for my community right now. Not for myself, but directed at a friend. Uh, One Gun Shun is an iClone animator who has been incredibly supportive of me and my friends and my my progress on my studio. And the fact that I'm a, a transgender animator 
this is something that is difficult for me to deal with and that I do deal with harassment and stalking over. And this friend of mine is, is struggling this week. If you go to their most recent videos, they're in the hospital right now and they had to have a leg amputated yesterday. And I'm not entirely sure how I can support them right now, but I, I'm going to try my best to do something to support this friend of mine. It, it just weighs very heavily on my soul, honestly. Because not only are they dealing with having had a, a leg amputated just now, and this very clearly has changed their life, they are also literally being mocked and harassed by a racist stalker at the same time as this recovery is is happening and to be completely honest with you i don't think it would be unreasonable to say that the, the pressure that this stalker has put my friend under exacerbated the diabetes and caused them to to have to have this leg amputated he's really done nothing wrong Certainly nothing to deserve the persistent and horrific, racist and bigoted harassment of True Bones Motion's animation studio, literally live streaming to Twitch and YouTube a celebration about him getting his leg amputated. And this person is an absolute piece of trash, and One Gun is very aware that this person is harassing and stalking them and and putting this kind of toxic garbage out here because they do it every day. This, this stalker comes after my friend every single day. Let me start with Eve Bat. Eve Bat said that I was mocking somebody in the hospital. I'm not mocking nobody. Because not only are they... This is all a lie. This is called pretending. Just like... This person's pretending. It's a guy pretending to be a girl. This person is pretending to feel sorry for Alvin. You see, folks, Alvin is lying to you. He's not in the hospital because of his leg. Well, he is, but there's another reason he's in the hospital. It's because he's been doing drugs. One gun don't need to be felt sorry for. Do you understand me? He went to the hospital because he's on drugs. Flashback. And uh, I even ran ice for the bartenders because I was just a nice guy, you know. I ran ice. I ran meth, you know. What else do you want from me? End of flashback. He went to the hospital because he's on drugs. All right, so I got to report this. Uh... All right, so let's read the rest of this, and then we'll, then we'll show you what is wrong with all this. The pressure he's been under of a transphobic and racist harassment, <sighs> currently mocking his recovery in the hospital. This weighs very heavily on my soul, and I'm crying it out right now. Oh, it would mean a lot to me if some of my friends would pop in to leave supportive comments on his channel. It's not his channel. <laughs> whoops i spit <laughs> you see this folks this is not one gun's channel he is lying he is lying one gun is a patsy for a white supremacy gang who made him do this and when he didn't do it right they put him in the hospital by feeding him oxycotin with fentanyl in it that's how his ass landed in the hospital. Not because of his leg. Because, you know, the last we heard from Alvin... down again. He's not going to go there no more. Now, the little bullshit he's doing now, there's nothing. There's no See, I hate to say it, but it sounded like this guy deserved to go in the hospital. Because uh, Cause he wasn't going to stop. I don't think it would be unreasonable to say that the, the pressure 
that this stalker has put my friend under exacerbated the diabetes and caused them to to have to have this leg amputated. No, that's not what happened. A grown ass adults, but this one, he can't be an adult. This motherfucker, he's still stuck at being 12. Does it? Listen. Do you hear how he's snorting? He's always snorting. Every five seconds, it's... <laughs> that's because he's doing the freaking fentanyl. He's still stuck at line about everything. Protection on their stuff, and you were selling it. And no, that's a lie, too. They don't have digital protection on their stuff. That's just a made-up word, man. Oh, we have digital protection on our stuff. No, you don't. Quit lying. Does this sound like a person who's sick? We're the nuisance and we got rid of your behavior. It well, he just called me a nuisance and he got rid of my behavior. Well, I just got rid of your leg. How's that sound? At least I can dance. You can't. How do you like them apples? And then he mixed in the dangerous drug equation where he's snorting shit. He's snorting oxycodone. He's snorting cocaine. He's snorting street drugs that got fentanyl in him. He's a dumbass, and he's gonna get everything he deserves. This hurts my heart. No, it doesn't. You don't know Alvin. You don't know me. You're putting two things together to make a sandwich, but there's it's all empty air. So you might as well just stick two pieces of white bread together and eat it, wash it down with a Mountain Dew, and shut the fuck up, man! You're lying! Yeah, I did say that. I said one gun got his leg amputated because he's head over heels in love with Joseph Earl McPeak. And to celebrate, he's going to the IHOP Pancake House. Lots of laughs. Your little feeble ego and your little pansy-ass, uh... Ego couldn't take it no more? Oh, well. He's talking about my one gun. He's not your one gun. You don't know him. He don't know you. Yet you're, as soon as he hits that hospital bed, you're jumping all over trying to make GoFundMes? Go ahead, try to make a GoFundMe. I dare you. I dare you to make a GoFundMe for this crap. I'm starting to think that Eve Bat is part of a white supremacy group who actually put one gun in the hospital. Now you got people feeling sorry for your ass. I don't feel sorry for your ass. I'm going to joke about it. You hear me? I'm going to joke. I'm going to joke. I'm going to joke. So, but I hope that Alvin has enough sense that he needs to block the following people. You need to block Eve Bat. She's dangerous. You need to block Sally Peck. He's dangerous because he acts like a woman. And he's not a woman. He's a man. Number three, you need to block Jet Strange. You need to get rid of that base channel. You need to remove all the stupid videos you said about Joe. You need to block Oprah Gramps. You need to block Todd Fox. You need to block Autumn Productions. Oh, and block Sean Fry and block little Sean Fry. Sean Fry is going to go to jail or at least lose his job. So next time you ask yourself, why is Elvin in the hospital? Don't say it's because he had to get his leg cut off. No, folks. He was fucking around with fentanyl street drugs. Elvin went to the hospital because the white supremacy gangs wanted him to. Because he couldn't get rid of Joseph Earl McPeak. And now they're losing market share. And now they're losing money. And now one gun is a liability. Hello, are you catching up? Do you understand how it works?
Folks, Alvin isn't sick. So this schmuck right here with the nappy looking roots isn't sick. This is a scam. All of his medical bills are paid for. He's not a black artist. He's not even an artist, much less a black artist. This Eve bat, these are nasty, dirty people. This Todd Fox, that's Mickey Horner. That's some guy who molested me like 15, 20 years ago. No, not 35 years ago. This Mickey named Todd Fox is manipulating one gun. Well, I'm telling you right now, folks, he's not sick. This is false advertising. Over here, Anonymous gave him 200. Z gave him 300. Anonymous, 100. Anonymous, 20, 15, 150. So what you're looking at here is nothing but a low-life worm who sucks off the state. This schmuck, he don't deserve a damn penny. Not even a half a penny. Not even a penny cut in half. He deserves nothing. Alvin has to hide behind a fake name just like I have to hide behind a fake name. Yeah, Sam Smith isn't my real name. Joseph Earl McPeak really is. But I can't use my name Joseph Earl McPeak on the internet. You know why? Because of trolls. He's fine. Don't give him money. Look, my name is Alvin Snurling and I am a black artist. Right there, I would have gave him negative money. Now, please, folks, check out this video right here. Please support this recovering animator. No, folks, I'm going to show you every single thing that's wrong with this. Let's watch this crazy video right here. Hey, Eatbat Studios coming at you tonight. Not for myself, but directed at a friend. Uh, one guy He's not your friend. Folks, this Eve Bat is a total stranger that hides behind a fake name. Why do they hide behind a fake name? Because they have to hide behind a fake name. They are being hunted. If you're going to be a troll and troll people and cause problems and call people thieves and liars and pirates, then you're going to turn into Eve Bat. who claims to be gay, who claims to be transgendered, but I highly doubt it. I think they're just creating, you know, that's how Frankenstein makes his monsters. He, you know, he's going to create the most appealing thing to the schmuck. So this is what appeals to Alvin. Listen. An artist who has supported me for years as I learned how to use iClone and through harassment as a transgender animator is in the hospital right now. He just had to have his leg amputated. He is diabetic, but the surgery is no small part due to the pressure he's been under from the transphobic and racist harassment of a mutual stalker. What do you mean you're stalking him with me? Who is currently mocking his recovery in the hospital. No, I'm not. I'm saying don't feel sorry for him. He's fine. Wah, wah, wah. I don't feel sorry for you, Alvin. You're a schmuck. But listen to this person who feels sorry. Of course they're going to feel sorry for him. He's generating revenue. They're using one gun as clickbait. Isn't that disgusting? Eve Bat is using One Gun's medical bills as clickbait. Really ridiculous. He's an iClone animator who has been incredibly supportive. He's not an iClone animator. Of me and my friends. No, he hasn't been incredibly supportive of you and your friends. He's been an incredible asshole. How'd you like them apples? And my my progress on my studio and the fact that i'm a, a transgender animator this Wait, is so what what does that matter what kind of animator you are they're trying to mix transgenderism into um let's go after this joe guy something that is difficult for me to deal with and that i do deal with harassment and stalking over i know because that's why you use a fake name like i do and this 
friend of mine is is struggling this week. If you He's could... not struggling. It's not a tough time. This was planned years in advance. Don't support Alvin, people. Go to their most recent videos. They're in the hospital right now. Yeah, and you put him there. He's a lump of lazy dog doo-doo. That's all he is. He's a lump of lazy dog doo-doo. It, no, it just don't. weighs very heavily on my soul, honestly. Because not only are they dealing with having had a, a leg amputated just now, and this... So what? You didn't? What are you so upset about it for? You're not Alvin's friend. Oh, he got his arm. He got his leg cut off. Ah, I'm, in I'm in such a mood. He got his leg cut off. Ah. Now you're going to come on YouTube and act gay and act like you're a transgendered just to gain sympathy? Come on, man. You messed up. I'm kind of having a little bit of trouble processing how messed up that actually is. I'm having a little bit of problems processing how messed up you are. Two wrongs Certainly don't make nothing right. to deserve the persistent and horrific, racist and bigoted harassment of True Bones motion. Okay, here we go. They're going to try to blame it on something. This person is not transgendered. This person is not gay. They're doing it to... to to look real to Alvin uh, to Alvin he's like wow he's really gay and he's really trans and he's really helping me no he's not really gay he's not really trans and he's not really helping you and he's not your friend literally live streaming to twitch and YouTube a celebration about him getting his leg in I never posted no celebration if my friends and supporters could reach out to one gun and just let them know that they care. Let them know that, that, that they matter. Oh, go blow it out, your a-hole, you stupid moron. So this is the real reason they put this video up, up. So Todd Fox, a fake person with a fake name named Mickey Horner, can come up here and troll bash people because that's all they can do. That's the only talent they have. That right there tells you all you need to know about this low-life piece of garbage. They're talking about me. Toxic garbage. No one should have to live with an insane stalker after them every day of their life. As idiots keep telling one he should do. Try walking up to an imbecile like True Bones. Slandering you every single day. Attacking your friends, your family, where you work, how you work, who you work with. True Bones has done all of this and more. When you see True Bones or Peak Levels or Sam Smith or Jose Future or any dozens of else, report him, then block him. Do not buy from him. Do not trust True Bones. Do not contact True Bones. What does that have to do with anything, folks? Nothing! Do you know how many sales I've made that says you're full of crap? Dude, I'm good. Dude, I'm good. Do you know how many? Look, I made 39,000 sales. How many sales did you make? How much money did you make? He's a pariah. No, he's not. He steals, stalks, and slanders. Um, no, I think you do. All in the name of his one true love, money. He has many else faces and... I'm watching all of you. Um, no, stupid. You're not from the United Kingdom. You're from Commerce, Michigan, and your real name, Todd Fox, is Mickey Horner. A child molester. I gotta, I gotta report this. How do you do it? Do you know the campaign? No, I don't. How are you concerned? How are you connected? The which best describes you? I'm a concerned individual. And uh, we're gonna copy this link. He's not sick. All of his bills.
are paid for. All, it says he's not sick. All of his medical bills are paid for. He's doing this to get a new computer. There for it's fraud. Does this sound like a sick man? This man is currently being used and abused by these trolls here. Look. They're gonna take one look at Hello this everybody. video. Eat that studio's coming at you. <laughs> these people are pretending to be gay and <laughs> trans just so they can profit off Elvin's misery. It's all a sham and shame. Refund all the money. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not a robot. Look. Report a fundraiser. Send email. So, Elvin, I hope they take your money back. I hope I've been clear. Don't give this schmuck any money. Look what he did. Look what he deserves. He's right where he belongs, people. The number one reason is not right about here. sunlight, Todd weather, Fox. or even politics. Alvin's it's number one stalker. Good to see you upright. Never forget creative people are liked because they add to the world rather than try to steal from it like the trolls do. Um, I don't see your artwork, Todd Fox. All I see is you trolling. If you really want to do something, stop stealing. You know, stop, stop stealing other people's shit. Stop Look, taking... he's delirious, folks. He's he's rolling around in the bed acting for Todd Fox. Stop stealing, Bill. Stop stealing. I'm just a patsy rolling around in the bed telling somebody who I do not know to stop stealing. Even though he's not stealing, I'm going to roll around in this bed for the people who are abusing me and say he's stealing. Yay! Joe was so happy at the thought of you might die. He was ecstatic. I have videos to prove it. How is that going to help Elvin get any better? I hope your recovery goes smoothly. Wishing you a speedy recovery. You got this, dude. Man, that's got to hurt. Moving on, sir. Time to heal up and kick some butt in the next chapter. You're the reason he's there, idiot. So this Crispin Broadhurst is one of those white supremacy people who used Alvin. They used Alvin, folks. Well, you're probably like, how could they use Alvin? They used him to get rid of the competition. So this person right here is a scum. Scum. You hear me? Crispin Broadhurst is a scumbag. 20s besides researching it. Uh, because this man is a scumbag. He's a white supremacist, and he used Alvin Snurling as a patsy, so he could, f so he could do this, uh, so he could laugh and make a couple more bucks to buy himself some ukulele strings. White supremacist. Yep, he used Alvin. Elvin's so usable, isn't he? We're going to go ahead and show you. I mean, we shouldn't even show you this, but go to Don Thack. Now, Don Thack is a fake name. And uh, they say that I steal stuff. And Todd Fox needs to grow up. They keep saying that um, I steal stuff. Now, the, the one person who really needs to grow up is this person named One Gun. An old man sitting in his mom's house, sitting in his mom's garage. So? What are you talking about that for? It's got nothing to do with you. Me and my mom or somebody else and their mom or you and your mom or Todd Fox and his mom has nothing to do 
with what you're trying to do. Now grow up, man. Quit talking about people's moms. You see, folks, what they did is these anonymous donors use fake credit cards. GoFundMe is a scam. They used one gun Alvin Snurling's flesh to raise a quick thousand for his drug buddies. I'm in the middle of upgrading my computer for animation work, uh, but now it has to go for bills, and I am... You have invisible bills that you set up. This Eve bat is faker than a $2 dildo. You know, about me being creative, you know. I don't You're not creative. I don't, I You're don't, not creative. I don't steal nothing from nobody. I don't steal nothing from nobody. Grow the fuck up! You see what I'm dealing with here, folks? A complete mad lunatic. There's nothing wrong with what I do. Um, but yes, there is. Kid, grow up, man. There is something wrong with what you do. Let's show people what you do. I can't even use my own real name because he's fucked it up. He's stolen my name, and now he's going to sit back in a hospital and say, I don't steal stuff. Yeah, because you feel safe in a hospital. You would never say that to my face. Do you know the penalty of stealing is getting your arms chopped off in Africa? I'm not going to argue with you. I know it sounds like it, right? <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you no more. Heck. Goodbye, one gun. Grow the fuck up, you stupid. Way above your level, of course you're going to be jealous and say that person. I'm jealous of this. It's cheating or, or a loser because you can't do it, you know. Is it One Gun Shun or is it Alvin Snurling? And I am a black artist. Man, grow the F up. They raised this thousand dollars for drug dealers. For the mafia. So I guess we're going to have to call the judge today. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's not a threat. That's just me, a desperate man, trying to get this person to give me my fucking life back. Because he's stolen my name. And he shamed my name. And now he's up there in a hospital bed doing it. Which is like 100% or 200% more effective. The only reason One Gun does all that bullshit is to impress his white supremacy friends. He's a white supremacist patsy. Folks, get it, get it right. Hey, that fam, fans, and supporters. Wow, do I have some much better news for you today. Uh, I put this video out just a couple days ago. I, I was worried about this because I didn't have a lot of uh, energy to invest in my friend's recovery here. And y'all more than came through for us as absolutely quick as possible. Within four days, we have reached over our thousand dollar goal of fundraising for Alvin's recovery. They put my video in here and we posted this in just a couple places. And I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I know that I see, I literally see people that saw my post came in here and donated, for sure. A couple people have put in anonymous donations, completely understandable with the current pressure of stalking that this person is under. Just, I need you to know, this means a lot to me. I'm really proud of this community. I'm really proud of you all. Uh, I, the response was fantastic. The response was perfect. I, I, I'm, I'm taken aback. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Thank you so much. I do, I do want to let you all know 
I, I do think it's important to state that uh, I was attacked for making this video, for supporting this artist. My studio uh, endured basically endless uh, harassment messages. They all come from one particular person in this case, and, and it's not even, like, negotiable that this could have been a group of people. It's literally just one obsessive person who really, really wants to hurt one gun shun. And if you say anything positive about him or you come out in support of him, you're gonna deal with that. And it happens that this guy is like a terrible transphobe and just a real mess. But seeing them floundering, angrily cursing one gun's name on stream as that number rose higher and higher, really sealed home that we are the good guys here and that the bad people don't matter. And I'm I'm proud. I'm proud of you all for that. Truebones made numerous streams over the last week, uh, both attacking my studio, attacking reporting my various pages, um, and mocking and insulting One Gun's injury, mocking them for the leg amputation. I, I know maybe to straight people, to cisgender people, you might sit back and think, okay, well, of course, you know, the trans people in the world deal with some weird stuff, but it really can't be as bad as they say, right? All it takes is a couple of people that fucking crazy saying stuff like that all the time to make the world feel like a really threatening, scary, dark place. I just think it's really important for all of you to remember that you matter and that your art matters, and that your survival matters, and that fighting for it is important. Because the people out there that are posting these terrible comments on the internet, they're, they're not good people, they're not sane people, they're not normal people. They are deeply fucked up, ill people who are trying to drag you down to, to the hell that they live in. So, again, I'm, I'm proud of all of you. Thank you. I, I'm proud of my community. To my entire Bat fam, to my family and my friends here, thank you so much. Eat Bat signing out.